is up guys Captain Foley here for another Eagle Moss product review this one I actually got quite a while ago I did an unboxing of it on my Captain Foley's personal channel <clears throat> um, and it's in the thumbnail it's one that looks damaged it looks like there was some problems with it it was just problems with the styrofoam inside of the package so if you can find that video it's over on the Captain Foley personal channel um, it is in the thumbnail, as I said. But today, we are going to be looking at the Eagle Moss XL Acura Class USS Thunderchild NCC 63549. Uh, and this is it here in the box. So quite a big box, as you guys can see. Um, as is usually, well, sometimes the case with Eagle Moss, I did not get a magazine with this one, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, uh, considering that they, uh, they help support the show by... Uh, sponsoring us with these things um, it's not that big of an issue um, really you get to still see the, the product still see the ship and still decide whether you want to buy it or not and if you do want to buy it there is a link down in the description below click that link so that Eagle Moss knows where the traffic is coming from and then use the discount code TrekYards10 on checkout to save yourself money on anything you buy there except for pre-orders the, the, the code doesn't work on pre-orders but you're supporting the show you're supporting um, Eagle Moss, and you're helping yourself out with the discount code by saving yourself some money. So if you can uh, support the show that way, please do so. But please click that Eagle Moss link down below. Um, and uh, yeah, that does all help the show because, you know, we get a, a small commission from that, uh, from the purchase of anything. So if you can, please consider doing so. Um, but anyway, this is the box. There you got the, a great picture of it on the uh, front there. And um, cool looking ship for sure. Um, I've already done the standard Akira uh, model from Eagle Moss so on the side there we got Star Trek on this side we've got all the other logos we got Voyager, TNG, DS9 and Enterprise uh, so nothing really fancy about the box just some standard stuff on the side there and on the bottom just the UPC code and then StarTrek.com so there it is there we're gonna get into it right now like I said I don't have the magazine unfortunately to take a look at but um, that's okay. I think we'll be fine. So yeah, as I said, the the box this was in when I got shipped to me was damaged. It had taken quite a hit. So everything inside shifted. So uh, the styrofoam inside this box actually broke a little bit. One big chunk out of the middle. Um, which I guess I can show you. It was on my unboxing video. but So this this big chunk right here broke off from the middle there so the ship was a little bit shifted in there um, and it didn't it didn't look healthy when I first got it um, however I can say that it is it is in good shape nothing wrong with the ship at all so and if you're able to find that video um, on the Captain Foley personal channel where I unbox it feel free go take a look so anyway here it is it is pretty big as I always say about the size of my head um, and it's got some really great details and stuff on it it is a cool design for sure and um, really 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 like the Akira class we've done quite a few episodes on it uh, even when talking to Doug Drexler about how the, dis the producers for Enterprise they just wanted a sh they just wanted this ship this exact same ship but upside down no changes made to it. You keep it just the way it is. Nobody will notice because that looks kind of cool. And uh, <laughs> Doug Drexler and Din uh, Michael Okuda were like, no, we're going we're gonna to make some changes to it. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, kind of grinds Doug's gears when people say it's the Akira Prize because it kind of is, but at the same time, he offered a lot of other designs more era appropriate and just didn't get approved. So anyway... All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy and see what we got going on. We start, of course, with the registry number. And with most Akiras, um, you'll notice that there is a registry number, but no name. There's no USS Thunderchild above it. Uh, I don't know why that is, but they've kept that true to form here, and it looks really good painted on there. <clears throat> um, the detailing on the hull, again, has got a dark pattern, but as you move back towards the back of the saucer it goes from a dark to a lighter pattern and it's much lighter at the back behind the bridge than it is uh, in front there in front you can see the escape pods and some details and greeblies 
and then you get the bridge module which is quite prominent um, and it's got the escape pods on each side of that and then the pontoons which protect the bridge um, and they got some windows in there some nice details on those windows and some just nice as teching or patterning on the hull uh, then back behind the bridge you can again see that more lighter area back there uh, moving to the the side of the saucer get some escape pods again some really good window details uh, the windows are really great on this model um, and there's no little divots for the windows so they aren't misaligned at all they look really good um, again some detailing hull detailing as far as uh, texturing goes like a almost like a paneling more escape pods and just some really great details the sides of the pontoons again are very well done you got the windows there some lit up with the white some dark with the black um, but you got uss uh or sorry united federation of planets uh the banner and it just looks so good like this is a very very nice detailed model um, this is one of <clears throat> eagle moss's best in my opinion for the xls flipping it over going to the bottom side you got the really cool delta band that goes around and uh, connects at the back, which is kind of weird, but at the same time kind of cool. It also has more of a TOS style feel to the front of it with the way that shape is. It's not really the delta, it's more of the TOS delta or TOS um, emblem that's on the side, which is cool looking actually. Um, so uh, going to the deflector there, you got a little inset piece of uh, clear blue plastic which looks okay um, mine isn't cut quite right so the top has kind of like a little bit of stuff on it but it's okay um, and again some really great panel details and stuff in the little inset for the deflector as well um, <clears throat> now on the bottom here underneath the banner you can see um, windows again they are a lot longer windows they're elongated compared to what they are on the top um, and they're thin thinner as well so that's kind of an odd thing but it looks very cool um, and just adds some really good detail down there moving to the sides of the saucer again you got some dark insets some windows lots of escape pod details and the escape pods are, ra are, are raised on this like they actually feel like they're different components like I said, this one's quite detailed and quite spectacular as far as a Eagle Moss model goes. So if you're a big fan of the Akira, I highly recommend the XL. Um, this one is actually really, really impressing me the more I look at it. <clears throat> uh, moving to the back here. Back here on the back of the saucer, you've got some uh, details there. A little red pinstripe. Um, little door. Probably a shuttle bay door. Um, I know the shuttle bay on the Akira is at the front uh, up here. Where the deflector is on the nx01 so you got that detail there um, looks like a few shuttle bay doors there um, and moving to the back you got the same kind of thing but something going on back there uh, the pontoons continue on you got more windows on the side there um, and on the inside and they carry back to the weapons pod now the weapons pod looks really good um, we've like i said we've done uh, an episode on the Akira, quite a few actually, so go check those out on Trek Yards. But we talk about the weapons pod and the amount of weapons in there. Um, how it looks like almost like a rotary dial, <laughs> like the, the torpedo tubes can ro rotate around. Um, they can't really, but it looks like that. Um, but you got some red um, striping around the torpedo uh, uh, ports at the front there. The back has the same kind of rotary detail, but not, none of the red pinstriping, which is a bit of a shame. The bottom of the pod has got a darker uh, gray um, middle section, and again, a little bit of greeblies and raised elements, which are, which are very nice. Um, it definitely adds to the, the look of the ship. Um, and then the pylons stretching back from that, um, even melding with the with the pontoons in the middle. It's just a beautiful detailed look. It's very textured, like you can actually feel the detail. The inset areas are darker gray. Um, and then you got like little lines uh, as well. Um, and on the top, it's actually mirrored on the top of the strut. It's mirrored, but instead of being inset, the raised 
or the, the dark gray parts are raised. So the dark panel that looks like it was inset on the bottom, or was inset on the bottom, um, is raised up here, and it's also got the, the, the striping, the, the lines on there as well. Now, moving to the um, nacelles, very unique nacelles on the on the Akira. Um, uh, the inside of the nacelle doesn't have a lot of detail, really. Um, it's got some paneling, again, um, a little bit of a raised section at the front there, um, and at the back, another raised section. No real details on it, per se, but it's just like vents. It's got like a little vent split at the back. Um, <clears throat> so, the yeah. Um, going to the other side, though, you get a lot of great detail. You see the Bizarre Collector there, and uh, the, the clear blue plastic again. Now, these elements do glow if there's a light behind them. These main ones here, uh, the main grills, do not, because it is solid on the other side, but that's okay. Uh, moving back from those Bizarre Collectors, again, you got the, the banner with the Delta and the registry number. Um, and then some, again, very great detailing, like the, the panel lines and the um, aztec you know, if you want to call it that on this, are very well done. They definitely pop, and I love the variation of dark to light all over this ship. It looks really great. Uh, so, um, And on the top of those nacelles, you can see there's a little bit of a formation light spot. They're not painted or anything, uh, but there's one on the back, and of course one on the front as well. So... And this one actually, <laughs> when I got this one out of the box, it did have a bit of a problem with this, with this, um, which would be their port in a cell. Um, it was off. I have glued it in, as you can see. There's a little bit of glue de detail there, um, because yeah, it was broken off in the box because of that little bit of a, a smash up. But n nothing big. It wasn't broken off. It just had come off. It wasn't sitting on the peg like it should be. Um, but it's been fixed now, so it is back to. To be in true form so there you go that is the xl akira class a highly recommended eagle moss model for me this one i would definitely give a nine and a half out of ten there's really nothing wrong with it the only issue i had really was when it was shipped just that the way the box was designed the ship the box had got hit i guess so the ship shifted forward snapped that thing off and there was a bunch of broken styrofoam bits in the box like those really hard ones to get rid of the staticky ones um and yeah, the nacelle was, was popped off, but not Eagle Moss's fault for that. So, all right, so let's take this thing over to the uh, uh, stand and take a look at Alex Yeager's beauty. Alex Yeager was the guy that designed this one. I don't know if you guys know that, but you do now. Go check out our videos on the Akira class over on Truck Yards. Go do it. Let's go check it out on the stand. Over there, because, you know, that's where the stand is. All right, so here she is on the stand. You can see some more of those details up close and personal. Again, this is a highly recommended model from me. Um, Eagle Moss, I think, really hit it out of the park with this one. They really like this model, I guess, because they really did a fantastic job putting this thing together. It is stunning, and the size is incredible. The stand um, is quite sturdy. It's got nice wide tongs because um, it grips in at the back there pretty well. Um, slots in really good, so definitely get some nice angles with this thing. If you put it on a lower shelf, again, you got that fantastic Akira um, silhouette. It's a great looking ship. Um, really appreciate it more and more the more I see it. I'm going to an eye level shelf again because of the angle, which I'm not a huge fan of the angle of a lot of these stands. Um, it's got a very aggressive profile. It's actually probably too aggressive at this point. I don't think that's seated in there quite as well as it should be. Yeah, I don't know. I think, as you can see, it's kind of flopping back. Hold on, let me try something here. All right, that's a bit better. It was not, I had it turned around the wrong way, I guess. Um, it's slotted in there better now. Um, so not quite as an aggressive lean on it, but yeah, on a eye level shelf, you know, if you, I'm not a big fan of it from the side, honestly, the profile is kind of, uh, 
but you turn it like that you got an aggressive looking look to it um, you can definitely have some good views of it you know either heading away from you or coming at you depending on where you put it on the shelf so that's a really great thing um, if you go to an upper shelf again same kind of deal you can definitely get some good looks of it there's a lot of detailing on it like I said um, from the raised uh, skate pods to the, the the clear blue deflector there to just the, the really cool pennants that attach around to the back so lots of great ways to display it and have it look good on shelves so overall a fantastic ship I would definitely recommend this one to anybody that's a fan of the Akira um, or just Eagle Moss ships in general because this is by far one of the best Eagle Moss ships out there um, as far as detail goes and things like that as you can see there's a lot of fantastic detail there and the raised paneling um, and the raised um, elements the phaser strips and the, the skate pods really add life to it and you don't get that with all the Eagle Moss ships so so there it is guys the USS Akira um well the thunder child but you know the akira class um from eagle moss that's the xl version if you haven't checked out the standard version um i suggest just typing in trek yards or captain foley um akira review and you'll find that one as well uh the little one is also very good but this one is much better so if you can please uh consider doing that also click the link down below to head on over to eagle moss and get yourself um your own XL version if that's what you really want um, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you use that link click the link head on over there and then use the discount code trekyards 10 after you've filled your cart um, and uh, you'll save yourself some money and help us out at the same time so anyway guys that's it for now thank you so much for watching as always subscribe to both channels Captain Foley's personal channel as well as trekyards and check out other videos by us as well Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Captain Foley, signing off. Bye-bye.